and hello everyone and here we are again rise of flight let's get to the next mission for our pilot straight from hell mr samuel ryan it's an intercept mission nope it's not i will scrap this mission and get a new one what is this let's see this one Escort our flight in the location near Montsel sur Cilier. Accompany them until they cross our lines. Samuel Ryan, Thomas Chamberlain, David Huge, Alexander Hernandez, Victor Foster. It looks like we are planning an offensive. And our guys are bombing enemy stations. They will start with us at the same airfield. Will this be... The big bombers, I guess. Felix though? Handle page? I guess if we got something it will be handle page. And we go over there. Target approach. Bomb. This looks like we're bombing our lines. Maybe tanks are there or something. Or uh, will be there. Well, I can deal with that. Let's see how it turns out. I see you guys at the strip club. Alright, takeoff is almost finished. Everyone is up and running. Let's see who we have with us today. Mr. Chamberlain. David Hughes, he's always with us. Alexander Hernandez, he should be here. And Victor Foster. I have flown with Victor yet. Let's see how good he is. I really hope I found the sweet spot between my voice volume and the game volume. Sometimes it can be a bit hard. And look what I have here dials. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Officially, now where to shoot at now. Always helpful. Also, I installed the sights again. And a good hold, I always thought. We are on our way with five guys. Uh, I am a bit hyped who we are going to escort because it's a bit early in the year for the big bombers. Here a little bit really really wait late and walk. Really really wait. Yes, it's a bad wait. A really wait. What the No Looks like this isn't going to be a good mission. My squad members just collided, and I don't think that any of them survived because both engines exploded. This is not good. This is not good at all. Hey, mate, I, I, why are you doing this? Okay, I'll watch this myself in the recording later. This looks really weird. It was Chamberlain again, right? Wasn't Chamberlain the guys crashed in the hill on takeoff? Useless. Bloody useless. <laughs> Thinking about starting a mission, frankly. Because uh, we are an escort mission. Enemies turn up and you have to react. The question is, can I react with two guys? Victor and Alexander? I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, let's stay here for a while because we need to meet our escort. At least this way we can finally find out if the game is killing people or not. Because, like I said earlier, I have this feeling that everyone is surviving after now. All right, I see you when I meet the bombers. 
so I was cruising around for a bit and then I thought well when will this bombers finally turn up and I clicked around a bit and I found this soppers what are those STRB on pups aren't they? And I have this distinct feeling that these are the guys we should escort, but they are all the way over there. So I will just turn a bell for a while here. And we'll wait. Maybe my guys are showing up, maybe they don't. We will find out. So looks like it's Mr. Chamberlain's and Mr. Huge's lucky day today because I needed to restart the mission. As it turns out, those English planes flying around here were indeed Savastrata base. For some reason I had in mind that those are two seaters, but apparently they are not. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the guy we need to escort and we completely miss him because I was flying around to try to start my recording and so I decided to just restart the mission give Mr. Huge and Mr. Chamberlain once again the chance of surviving this whole thing and I guess I will go autopilot after takeoff so the game can fix itself because I have this feeling that there will be a certain time when I need to be at the at the meetup point. So we will hook up with each other, which uh, so we will hook up with each other and we will be able to continue to the next waypoint. Just a minor bug. Nothing major. Did I just say minor bug? Because the way it looks is that they are starting behind the German lines and then they are flying over to the French lines. Which is really, really weird. enemies in the area? Nope. Are there enemy ground targets in the area? Nope. So I have no idea what is happening here. Once again. Because those guys could easily just be um, part of the map, so to speak. Just a randomly generated flight, but I'm not sure. Let's just see how the whole thing turns out and how long I'm flying around here until someone is meeting us. That's it, all of you are alive. How does it feel not to crash into each other? Uh, Thomas, keep it together, man. I don't want to die because Ellie crashed into me. And I have this slight feeling that if any ally will crash into me, it will be Thomas. Let's hope we will never find out. Alrighty. I reached the waypoint and now it's pointing me to the next waypoint. There's no one with us, only the five of us. But I will just oh, oh, continue the oh, way over there. If nothing else happening, I will hunt down the balloon. As you are used to right now. Let's see. This thing has shown me 220, I always wanted to know. No, this is right. Nope, it's not. Oh, it's kilometers an hour. That's why. But if it's over 220 miles per hour, it should be way more than kilometers an hour. Is this can't be true. Maybe this guy is just wrong. 
which could easily happen with this old planes. Is it with this old planes or with these old planes? Who knows? Someone with better English than me, probably. <laughs> Side slip here. Okay, I can see planes. Let's see, should be the software. Yes, they are. Sorry for cheating a bit here. But It can be really unnerving if the missions aren't working as they should. Because you know nothing else will happen if the mission isn't working. And then you will fly around for one hour and nothing will happen in your video. And I had missions where nothing happened and I tricked a bit around there. Because I don't think it will be enjoyable to watch if I'm just flying around here for one hour. There's no enemies turning up. And shooting down balloons every time. I'm doing exactly the same thing, right? Oh yeah, we should protect them. I don't know from what though, because they are coming back. And there's not a single enemy on their asses. Stop the Stratus. A whole bunch of them. We could say a flock. A flock of Stratus. Stratus. Stratus Stratus sounds a bit like self destructor. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I made job. I am funny. Okay, let's overtake them. Just, uh, Sort of a small flyby here. They seem to go in circles. Even though I don't know why. Also, this is a really, really weird formation. I guess those are two separate flights. This is close. No, pilots in real life were flying really close to each other, so they could give the, each other hand signs. I don't know what the statistics are there. Like how many pilots died because they crashed during a mesh flying. Yeah, I would estimate it as pretty high. Look at them. They don't have bombs. And next to no fighting capability either. That I don't have. They have a bit more ammunition. But that is not hard with the Sapper Strata. I guess you can tell I've been flying a lot of multiplayer lately because I don't crash into enemy pilots anymore. <laughs> I started this game every time, like, without failure, my mission ended because I was crashing into allies or into enemies. And after a while you get the feeling... ...where the space between them is. And it's actually pretty big. Like, it's really hard to crash into a plane if you know where it is and where it will be by the time you're passing it. I still should cut it out, because why taking risks? Let's go a bit higher. Problem is though, I don't want to do this the whole time. Keep up with that speed. So I guess I will just 
do big turns above them which is actually better because if someone is appearing on this height I will be able to get them so let's go up and see what happens So, no joke, they just, all of them just dropped their bombs on our side of the lines. I have to distinct feeling <laughs> that say I got calculated wrong, but they started from the German side and are taking the English side now. And this should be other stats or something, and we should be fighting them. This is a really weird. What the hell is wrong with you? By the way, um, they do have bombs. It was just uh, this metal lid in the middle was closed. This is actually the bomb patch. Let's see if enemies are around. The answer is no. Just a single balloon over there. Well, let's see how this mission is going on. If they will land on the German airfield. If so, oh well, the PWCG people should take a look at this. <laughs> Weird. So, the game is telling me now that I should go home. Which is of course not what will happen. I will shoot down this German balloon and maybe do a bit of ground strafing. These guys seem to be going home. At least they are passing the front once again. Let's go over to the German balloon. Let's see if a German airfield is nearby. Of course it's not. Let's use some altitude here. I'm keeping up my good speed. Balloon is coming closer. It's an A E T five. It's the kind we're used to. Don't seem to be alone here, which I don't really mind. Easy enough. I don't see any flag. The crazy anti air flag from last time is gone. There's really not much happening here. I'd like to check <laughs> because um, every time you load through, load through uh, 
you pull your lever back on your machine guns. Um, two shells will be extracted anyway, so I just can shoot and I will be able to hear if one of the machine guns is jamming or is jammed. Well, I prefer just shooting instead of loading through stuff. Yeehaw! And he's gone. That was pretty easy. So let's see, what do we got down here? Oh, don't seem to be alone. Those are three groups of anti-air fire, so I guess they just have three flags down there. With a really interesting target. Just straight out of here. Oh, this one's close. Yeah, oh, he hit me. I'm hurt. Is my plane intact. My plane seems to be all right. I've seen the first puff during straight next to me. The artillery. Keeps to tends to stay together, so I knew that the other guys will also shoot in this direction. It's one zigzagging out of here. It won't be too easy as a target. No one else seems to be alright. And we're out of flag range. So let's go home and see a doctor. Because I have this feeling there are a few shrapnel that stuck into my arm or something. And hello everyone. So I just passed a non sea. And now I'm will try to land. Without ripping anything off. I am smoking a bit, I noticed. But it's not uh, much more than I usually do, so I guess my engine is still in pretty good shape. I really shall try to get down the plane in one piece. Are you still in there? Way take off? Way take off? I don't know. He's gonna tell me that uh, what's going on here. That was interesting. This was really low, and now I need to go up again. Uh, I have no idea why. Uh, I was pulling up too fast, I guess. Landing. Oh, this is clearly landing. Alright. So let's get all the way back. Ah, I was wondering why the point was back there. I really thought that I must have passed my aerodrome a while ago. There it is. Okay, let's just land and we call it a day. It's a victory. Now, because nothing happened, I guess I will just show you a clip when I look at it. It got shut down. There's a thing I was shut down. I will see what I recall it actually. I haven't looked into the files. I was just, just laying around and sometimes I'm just activating my OBS in the hope to get something nice. And maybe I have. Let's see. You will be just as surprised as I. Good landing. I need to lose some speed before I crash into one of these buildings. Oh, tipped <laughs> my rudder there a bit. My aileron. Aileron. Okay, those guys are landing now. Yes, they will. I'm a bit wounded. Medic! 
Medic! I need the medic! Red Cross! Red Cross! You there! Come on! Get me out of my plane! Okay, I guess I'll see you in the debriefing. And hello, everyone. Debriefing time! Victor Grease claimed one balloon. Nothing else happened. Just submit a report, go home, drink a tea, get stitched up. Start the brief. Flying around. Hanging around, shooting a balloon, destroying a balloon, getting damaged, landing. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Don't. <laughs> I got a medal for that. Why not? Let's give me medals. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Come and report. Yeah, shut down balloon. While my allies were <laughs> bombing our airfield. Our airfield, the our side of the lines. <laughs> All right, confusion. Well, it's still May, I guess. It could be worse. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Distinguished Service Medal. Just, I'm just um, opening the Wikipedia here to tell you. Distinguished Service Medal. Just to tell you um, <laughs> how you could achieve such a honor. Um, wait a second. This is German. I should read the German version. The Air Force Distinguished Service Medal was created by Act of the States Congress. Blah blah blah. The Air Force Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to any member of the United States Air Force who has <laughs> distinguished himself or herself by exceptionally malicious service to the United States government in a duty of great responsibility. <laughs> the interpretation of the phrase great responsibility means that this medal is generally awarded only to officers who hold at least the rank of major general. So you now you know. Um, <laughs> I'm a major general now. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> My head hurts. I'll see you guys in the next mission. <laughs> Watch this multiplayer clip. Was way more fun than this. Microphone activated. At last. Like everybody's in West Verdun, huh? Oh, yeah? What? Well, that's a bunch of shit. All you can fly is the Albatross? Or that's all I can fly, and the Spod. Well, crap. So all the guys in the Newport 28s are killing all the guys in the spots. Is that what's going on here? <laughs> They've got the Sopwith Dolphin. The Sopwith Pup. Huh. Yeah. So where'd you fly out of?
now, but uh, which faction did you pick? Oh, did you change names? Why oh, I didn't see you. Oh, there you are. Dwarf Diplomacy. Okay. Uh-oh, you cut the elf out of it, huh? Yeah. Oh, this has the manual radiator. I haven't flown a plane with a radiator in a while. Yes. Uh, I, I don't even remember what it's like to fly this pod, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. Dude's asking if he should pick Albatross or Fokker, doesn't he? He wants the Fokker, doesn't he? Okay. Oh, you got